Alright everybody, it's time to bring you the first episode of my new series. This series is a collaboration with my good buddy Jugs Gaming. It is Game Ratings Devil's Advocate. Now you might be wondering what the, what this is. Basically he does a series on his channel called Game Ratings where he just does a game, does a game review. And what I want to do is him say all the good parts about the game and I can come in about all the bad parts. So today's first game is War Mode. War Mode is an indie developer game where it's almost like Counter-Strike and Call of Duty had a baby. And it's not necessarily a good thing because with Call of Duty and Counter-Strike having a baby comes their flaws. That's what I'm going to point out to you today. Now, as you might see, this hit detection looks a little off, and the graphics aren't that good for a game being out in 2015. Granted, I do have to give it that it is an indie developer, but still, it's 2015. I've seen games from 20... not even 20 anything, just 2005, or not 2005, with better graphics, you get what I mean. Older games can have better graphics than this game. And it's kind of a really fast paced game. If you don't pay attention on what's going on, you are going to get destroyed. I mean, it's not going to be a good time for you if you don't have a fast reaction time. And the hit detection in this game, it sucks really bad. I'm constantly getting hit from behind walls. Just, so, you know, if you play Black Ops 2 in its prime, and you can still play it today and experience those issues, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the weapon selection is quite large in certain categories, with those two categories being assault rifles and pistols. Pistols don't even have that much, it's the assault rifles that have a lot. So I hope this game, since it is an early access game, is being developed on with more weapons and that the cache system gets fixed because it takes absolutely ages to save up for a weapon. I mean, I was, as you've seen from these clips, I mean, this is my first time playing all these clips. This is my first three games that I pulled all these clips from. And, as you can see, I'm, in my opinion, I'm not doing that bad. And, um, I was barely making enough money to buy an assault rifle, which is like $2,000. You know, not that expensive. And that's where the Counter-Strike kind of plays in, where in the beginning of the game you press B to buy your weapons and you ha the more you get kills, the more you play objectives, the more cash you get. So in that way it is kind of like Counter-Strike. That's almost it, that it's all like Counter-Strike, to be honest. Um, shotguns are a little too OP because if you use shotguns you're going to win this game. I mean seriously, you're going to dominate. And the only other weapons that can really compete against sh shotguns is assault rifles, and only certain assault rifles do. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys, um, that, that's all I have really to say about this game. Because this game, it's an indie title, so it's pretty small. I've pretty much just gone over all that it has to offer. The sound is alright and everything, but if you want to check out the official game ratings, um, besides the ne all the negativity, go check out Jugs Gaming. Um, it's gonna have some negativity because I had this idea after the fact of that video. It was that video that inspired me. But I actually, truly, in my honest opinion, I enjoy this game. This game has honestly been a lot of fun, and I think this might be a main game for me for a while. Um, this is a game me and Jugs can play together. And I want to start a uh, war mode in depth because I feel like this game could go really far. And that's just, and I will have good connection as soon as they launch the servers in America. Oh. But anyway, guys, please leave a like. Please leave a comment about what game you want me to do next. And I'll see you all later.